Hello everybody, welcome to Shen Plays. I'm your host Shenra and this is our Saxony Let's Play here in Europe and Universalis 4. We can see a lot of the new world now. You can see Portugal's over here and France and Portugal are down here. It looks like Spain isn't over there at all. Spain is focusing on Africa. I'm fine with that. That's going to get them really, really rich though because they're just going to keep beating up on Mali and taking their candy. Ireland has formed. Good for them. <laughs> And uh, England is kicking Scotland's ass. Big surprise. We just finished a huge war with Sweden. Took all of our manpower to get it done, but we did make them spit out Finland. We also took a claim over here in uh, this province. Let's go ahead and get that cord. It's going to take a while. Uh, since we, we lost our claim during the war... No, right after the war ended. So the core is going to take forever to do. Yeah, eight years to core it. That's okay. I'm patient. In the meantime, we have a mission to attack Poland, but I'm tempted just to just to let that let that go for as long as possible because if his king dies, we get a personal union over him. Even though we don't have a royal marriage anymore, he's still of our dynasty. And that means we could possibly get a personal union over him. He just has to die young. He's 22. He hasn't had any kids since uh, since he, he he took the throne at like 18 or 19, and he hasn't taken he hasn't had any kids yet. He took the throne at 15. And he hasn't had any kids yet, so it's been seven years of no kids, and if he dies, we will get a personal union. I like that. Uh, whereas in Thuringia, where we have the personal union with them, every time our leader dies, there's a 25% chance we'll just inherit them. So I'm okay with that. Uh, we have finished getting rid of all of our... No, we don't. We still have one excessive thingamabobber. What is it? Military access in the Hansa. All right, we need to cancel that. Cancel that. And now we're down to getting as much Diplo power as possible. So let's unpause and get back in the game. Joaquin Bieber is back. Still looks like Justin to me. And we need to set our rival as Hesse. Because now we actually have... No, we don't. Wait, end of the month. There we go. Now we have the Dipl Diplo points to get it done. Georgia collapsed. Good for you. So let's pick Hesse. Bam. Well, there goes our relations. Went from plus 54 down to plus 4. But that did improve our relations with... Um, who? Trier? No. Who was it? Cologne? Yeah, Cologne. So there we are. Plus 94. That may mean they'll vote for us. It does not mean they'll vote for us. But it is really, really close. We No, it does mean they'll vote for us. We are two points ahead of Baden. So at the end of the month, this should flip to us. I don't think we're going to be able to keep ourselves two points ahead of Auden, but eh. Lorraine, who do you have for rivals? Nobody important. Mecklenburg, nobody important. Not sure what's going to go on with Mecklenburg. Mecklenburg may just get annexed here, and if they do, that'd be good, because we lost diplomatic, or d despicable scum, or whatever, dishonorable scum. If they annex these guys, that'll be good for us, because that'll get rid of that elector, and that elector is Protestant. Nobody wants a Protestant elector, because we're not Protestant yet. We're still Catholic. Anyway, we could, and we probably should, start integrating Mazovia. Uh, Hungary, Poland, so we already have that. We already have that. What do we need here? Enemy of enemy, same religion, improve relations. We just have to improve relations a little bit, and then we can start integrating them. Okay, what else do we have? You guys, we have pretty good relations. We can't really do anything about that. That's just going to be a, eventually we'll annex you. No rush. Anschbach. That's right. We needed to work on Anschbach. I forgot about them. Why don't you like us? Not sure. Uh, but you are a kingdom, right? Kingdom? Yeah. So let's uh, see if we can vassalize Anschbach. That'd be great. Uh, bu -bu -bu -bum. Do they want an alliance? No, they don't. Why not? Opinion of Saxony. Oh, because we're below... Yeah, but they will do a marriage, and that'll get us above negative. That'll be make us positive. And now they will take an alliance. Yep. All right. Good, good, good. Come on back, Joaquin Bieber. You've done good work, my friends. Crimea got their province back. I don't care. Not really in that war. Finland is now an administrative monarchy. Yeah, cool. Good for you. Oh yeah, when can we change our government type? Uh, we can change to administrative monarchy when? Uh, tech 12. Alright, well, we'll get there slowly. we got a ways to go. In the meantime, let's work on Anschbach. See if we can go kill their rebels for them, because they're freaking incompetent. There we 
we go. I like how they split Switzerland in half. They completely split Switzerland in half. So they lost this shit over here, and they're kind of just stuck in this little corner now. It's good for us. And the rebels are dead. There you go. Are you happy with us? They should be happy with us for helping. Yeah, defended our territory, plus 10. It only lasts for five years, and it slowly decays, so... Not the best thing ever. But they also have Hesse as a rival. Good. Discovered St. Thomas. Learning all about the New World. Good for us. Nobody's up here yet. That's amazing. I can't believe nobody is up here yet. They're all down in the South, or Africa, or the Caribbean. You know what we could be doing? We could be fabricating claims on Austria. Might be good for us to do that, since uh, the war with Poland may never happen. If this guy dies without an heir, he still has no heir. If he dies without an heir, then we're not even going to bother with fucking Poland. We're just going to inherit him 50 years down the road. So for now, let's start fabricating claims over here in Austria. Now let's go for Ostmarch. Right next to his capital. I'm sure he'll like that. Oh, you know what we can do? We can stop funding our troops so fucking much. Thanks, Twitch, for telling me that. <laughs> our theologian died. Damn it. Hey, the Arumba imposter is back. Hello, Arumba imposter. How are you? Still got a free Diplo. What are we going to do with this free Diplo? We could keep Kissy Kissy. Really? Oh, this guy, he leapfrogged. He's now up 20 above us. Well, we may not be able to get him then, unfortunately. Hmm. You know, we might not, we not, we might not be able to do any of these. Uh, are you a kingdom? You are. I guess if we vassalize Lorraine, that would be enough. But France is right on that border. I really don't want to get that border. I would like Cologne. Uh, but uh, that's probably not going to happen. It's unfortunate. We... Oh, man. Negative 150? Are you serious? Wow. That's pretty bad. How's relations here? 164? Okay. And we got claim on Chelno. So we have claims all up and down Poland now. And oh man, I really hope this guy just dies. He just needs to fucking die. That's not so much to ask, is it? He's 23 now. It's been eight years since he took over. Still no heir. Come on, just die. Let's put the uh, speeds up all the way already. Shit, just die. Oh, corn will spawn again? What the? Corn will spawn again. Jesus Christ. They has nothing, no, no idea what to do with the rebels, do they? They're just like, oh, rebels, run away, run away. Oh crap. Hesse wants access. I don't think so. You're my rival, you little moron. All right, we have finished our claim in Poland. We should go get more claims. I guess Warmia. Warmia. Still no air? Still no air. Alright. And we should use the last guy to keep improving relations with uh, Lithuania, even though they are pretty crap at the moment. We'll do our best to see what they can become. Yeah, Greece exists. They're, they just spawned out of rebels, so it's not like it's actual Greece, Greece. It's just whatever. When countries spawn out of rebel provinces, it's usually not very appealing to look at. That's what she said. Oh, that's right. Uh, now that we have Admin Tech 10, we can go ahead and do a couple nice ideas, which will help with our tolerance of Protestants. Currently, we are tolerating Protestants at negative 1.3, but we can improve that by taking two ideas. One of them is the Convectile Act, which is going to give us better missionaries, but lower our tolerance of them. Let's do that. 
That means it's easier to convert them. And the last one is going to be Declaration of Indulgences, which increases the cost of stability, but at the same time increases tolerance of heretics. That includes Reformed, Orthodox, and Protestants. That'll be plus three. I love it. Now we're sitting at plus 0.6. So overall, that's a, a plus two gain and stronger missionaries. That's just fantastic. Norway collapsed again. Good for you, Norway. Nice to know that you are good at keeping your shit together. Oh, fucking rebels again. Well, this will bump up our relations slowly if he keeps having rebels that we kill. And the Hansa is insulting us. It'd be nice if he would just uh, sack up and annex Mecklenburg over here. Growth of cities, growth of si growth of cities, growth of cities attracts serfs. Uh, gain base tax in Saxony, lose base tax in Oberlausitz, and lose stability. No, no, I don't want to lose stability. So screw that. We'll just do the lower morale armies for a while. How long does that last? Twenty years of lower morale for the armies. That's kind of painful. Oh, I don't want to lose base tax anywhere, though, so that's fine. We're seriously losing this battle. We are losing this battle. You're kidding me. It's just some stupid... Whatever. All right. Fund the military just for a little bit. Whammo. Can't take the general out while they're retreating, but should be okay. There you go. Kill them, please. Thank you. And they're actually going to live. They're going to survive. Alright. And they're going to live again. They're going... Alright, whatever. Now they're dead. Yay! Go home. And now we'll take the lower morale just for a little bit. 20 years of lowered morale. We're not going to go to war anyway. We have no manpower. Oh my god. Look at all these freaking rebels. That is painful to look at. No, we're about half and half between Catholic and non-Catholic. Alright, better army tech. Tech 11. We're going to get new units. We're going to get uh, more supply limit and more shock. Fantastic. And there's more fucking rebels already. We just killed the rebels and they're back. Different rebels, but still. All right, let's get some new units. Right now we have reformed Gallo Glay, which is three shock and five morale. And we're going to switch over to... Uh, well, these guys are... These guys are more evenly spread on offense and defense. These guys are all offense, but they don't have any fire. So let's take the um, balanced guys, the Tereshio. We're over our force limits now. Interesting. Um, yeah, we'll get rid of a couple guys. You know, we'll just combine. Limo. There you go. Now we're under our limit, right? Perfect. Let you get your shit together, and then we'll go kill them. All this was annexed by Switzerland. So even while they lose, like, a good third of their country, they're still out there being aggressive, conquering shit. You guys got a, an air yet? Nope, no air. Nine years, he still has no air. Alright, Switzerland refused the unlawful territory. Yeah, Sweden, you're a weak emperor, dude. You are a weak emperor. But you are going to continue to be emperor because there's three Protestants voting. So, oh, you didn't get annexed? How did you not get annexed? God damn it, Hansa. 
The Hansa has a claim down here in Mecklenburg, and they just... They've gone to war for it twice, and both times they just didn't take it. I hate when the AI does that. They took provinces over here, two of them, instead of taking the problems they actually went to war for. Ugh. Crazy, crazy, crazy. We could go for a peaceful annexation of them. They are the wrong religion. Probably more likely we'll just annex them at some point. I don't know. It's not my focus right now, anyway. Discovered Caracas, Venezuela. Fantastic. Switzerland is now allied with Poland. That's kind of cute. And there's more rebels. Big fucking surprise. More rebels. What? Do we not have access here anymore? We still have an alliance. Will you please go... What the... F we can't actually go down there anymore? I'm confused. We've been killing your rebels. And now we can't? Why not? Sweden's demanding territory from us. Eat a dick. What a joke. Why can we not kill your rebels? We have an alliance. Fine, I'll ask for access then. Uh, let's see. Improve relations with Lithuania. That can wait. Dishonorable scum on Switzerland. That's fine. Rebels, whatever. Weird. With the alliance, we shouldn't have to ask for access, but we do have to ask for it. Oh well. Whatever. Kill them. So that is helping relations, but it looks like it doesn't stack. Uh, the plus 10 never goes up to plus 20 or 30 or 40. I think we've defended them four times now. It, does, it doesn't stack. It really should stack. I wish we could have a plus 40 based off of that, but oh well. We really are doing them a service, you know, saving their country and all that jazz. Oh, whatever. Oh my god, Lithuania. What is your problem? Alright, and Cologne was just... I mean, Munster was just annexed by Cologne. So Cologne is back up to five provinces. And, uh, yeah. They're they're sitting pretty over there. They're still not voting for us, unfortunately. And Trier is no longer voting for us either. So I'm just not even going to bother trying to influence the HRE anymore. I don't really care. It doesn't matter that much. France declared war on Savoy? Yep. No, Cherokee. France is at war with Cherokee. Really? Yeah, there you go. France is over here fighting Cherokee with their level 4 tech. Poland is insulting us. Ooh, 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 ooh. Insulting me. Do you have an heir? Nope. Insulting us won't do any good if you can't... If you can't make a baby, insulting us won't do any good. What was that sound? Did you hear that sound? Ding, ding, ding. What the hell was that sound? I don't know. Scotland will cede Aberdeen to England and pay seven ducats. Okay, now why would the AI do this? Why did the AI do this? They took a province that they don't have direct connected. Um, nine times out of ten, that means it's going to revolt and go back to Scotland. Why did the AI do that? England has cores here, but they didn't take that back. They took this. God damn it, England. So dumb. We discovered Panama. Cool. No one's there yet. Sweden declare war on Novgorod. Good for you, Sweden. Good for you. France just allied with Ireland. Ha! Huh. France and Ireland. Yeah. That's the ticket.
Okay. How are we doing here, Mazovia? Pretty good. Still need a little more. Uh, we'll probably just give him a gift of gold at this point. And then we can start annexing him. At the end of the month. Or in a month. And Poland has an heir. No! <gasps> we got the union! We got the union! I have my arms raised over my head in the touchdown, but we're not actually touchdown. We got a union. <laughs> oh, that's fantastic. Oh, he died at like 25 or something. He died young. All right, that means we definitely need to start improving relations with them because they hate our guts. We need to take them out. We don't even have them as a, as a rival anymore. They can't be a rival because they're now a union. Okay, um, who should be our rival then? We have Austria, we have Hesse, uh, probably the Hansa. Let's rival the Hansa. Actually, let's let's mimic whatever Poland has to get bonus with them. Bohemia, uh, sure, we'll do Bohemia because they're right next to us anyway. Bohemia. I can't believe he died at 25. That's great. The Saxon-Polish Commonwealth? Yeah, something like that, except without all of Lithuania. <laughs> now, uh, we do need to get relations up quickly, because our king is no spring chicken. He's 37. Uh, hopefully he won't die today, because if he does, we'll lose that union. We really need to uh, keep him alive. So now that means we don't actually have to act on these claims. In fact, we're still fabricating claims, aren't we? Now, we're almost done. We might as well finish that one up. Uh, but yeah, definitely don't need to worry about claims anymore. We do need to improve relations, though. And uh, we can't do any marriages or anything, can we? It's a union, so we can't do a marriage. There is no need for an alliance. So, whatever. And we're up to 39. Wow, that turned quick from negative 70 to positive 39. Wow. All right. Improve relations. Make it so. Now, Poland is our bitch. And, oh, shit. We lost a ton of relations with uh, Mazovia because they had Poland as a rival. Oh, well, let's switch it to Hungary then. Shit. Fine, 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 fine. Don't want to lose relations. We need to start annexing. There we go. All right, kissy, kissy. There you go. Great. Next month. There we go. Great. Start annexing. Perfect. All right, and that's a great place to stop. So thank you so much for joining me today, guys. I've been Shen. You've been you. Join me next time in the wonderful world of Saxony. Let's take a look right there at the map of that wonderful personal union we have with Poland. I can't believe it. He died at like 25. <laughs> we didn't even murder him. It just happened. See you next time, guys. Have a good one.